Hello, Von Randy here, and we're uh, working out in the uh, barn. And as we've been uh, doing the workout here, we're uh, putting up insulation and been uh, working on the bench here as well, redoing all of that. Uh, mainly just because we had to get back behind the bench here. We took the bench out, put the insulation up. Basically, been uh, documenting the uh, process here somewhat on my uh, phone here. And I received an email here the other day from a, a company that makes uh, basically these kits you can use to record on your phone easier. They said they'd like to uh, send one here. So we got that. We're going to check that out uh, this episode. We'll see if it improves the uh, recording here on my phone. Uh, basically, it comes with a microphone and a light and then basically just a grip for it. So let's uh, check this out. Okay, so this is the uh, View Flex VF H7 kit here. Like I said, it comes with a handle here to hold the phone, microphone, and a light. So let's uh, open it up and check it out here. Oh, even comes with any carrying case. Like I said, so far just been using my uh, phone here, just you know holding it by hand, nothing fancy there for videotaping with. So there, it looks like both handles. Looks like several different adapters here. This must be the adapter for holding the phone. A LED light. I'm curious, does this come with its own battery from the looks of it? The microphone. Looks like the same brand. For those of you who remember, I did a review of a Comia microphone here a while back. Looks like the same brand as that one. A pretty good microphone. A massive dead cap for the uh, microphone there. Must be a couple of cross pieces. And I'm assuming all the cables and stuff we need to attach this all together. And a battery, okay. So let's see what we got here. Nope, those in pieces. I'm just gonna assume probably like that. Okay, we're back. Mailman just dropped off uh, some more blades for the saw there. Uh, definitely using blades now that we're cutting a lot of lumber out here. So anyway, back to uh, assembling this here. Uh, I did take all the protective film off everything here as well. So let's see what's, where were we at. We were putting this together here. Something like that, I do believe. Oh, this hole underneath too, interesting. So it looks like there's lots and lots of different mounting options here, pretty much however you want to do it. Uh, everything does have a nice rubber soft grip there. Uh, same thing on this as well. And then we probably join it up in the middle. Where is this piece? Oh, a little bit of film on that one yet. And this I think can go on top of the light here somehow, probably right there. And it looks like it comes with a couple different uh, shades here. So you got a, just kind of a white, and then you also orange one and a blue tint one. Ah, okay, here's how you adjust, depending on what size smartphone you have. So mine's probably gonna have to be a little bigger. I do have the iPhone 7 Plus here, just like that. Now what goes in the middle here? It must be this piece. Okay, uh, also comes with a recording button here as well. Looks like you can put that on either side. I'm not sure what the battery here is. Oh, what is the battery for this? Uh, this is probably what the battery's for. Yep, coin battery. Put that in there. Stick that back on there. 
And this can go, let's see, she's facing that way. Can screw on. Now it doesn't look like very well though. So we got a spacer. Right, so it looks like uh, lots of different options here depending on how you want to configure this. And one thing I did notice, comes with all USB style mounts here. So obviously I got an iPhone here, so we need the special iPhone adapter. That shouldn't be a problem. This needs to be adjusted a little more yet. Back to a video. There we go. And like I said, it's definitely becoming more and more common to uh, start shooting videos on the phone here because obviously, you know, I got the phone with me all the time and, you know, it's something easy to carry, you know, versus, uh, let's see, does that connect? Yes, it does. You know, versus uh, recording on the big camera here. Oh, I'm videotaping, videotaping the camera. And yes, there's a lot of mess on the bench over here. So let's, uh, we'll uh, switch over to this, uh, camera here and let's see what kind of uh, a video we get here okay so we're now on the camera here recording with should be the light on here hopefully you can see that like i said uh if it's brighter if we take this off i wonder it's got a little diffuser panel on it which you know if i was standing right in front of it might be helpful but seeing how i'm not should be okay And I probably should have the microphone facing the other way here, come to think of it. So I can hold it out. Oh. So I can hold it out like this here then. Should be able to see it fairly good, I would think. And then of course the microphone is pointing the right direction. And with an external microphone like this as well, it should give a hopefully a little bit better picture. So let's just uh, take a momentary walk in the barn here. And I'll uh, show you folks what we've done here so far. So if you've seen a video out here before, Old bench ended right here, you can see, old. And this isn't new either, this was just what was under the bench. So these are boards that are under the bench, we now move into the top of the bench. And we just got uh, three quarter plywood under the bench now instead of two by tens. You can see all the batteries and stuff sitting there. So yeah, we, we still got a pretty good mess here yet, we're still working on it. Uh, you can see we're putting a three quarter plywood on top of the bench here as well. That's just to uh, fill in the gaps here between the two by tens. Uh, old bench, it was just caulked. Uh, new bench, we haven't done that yet. Like I said, we're just gonna put two by tens over it. Call it good. Uh, the pile of junk sitting here and all in the middle there. So everything that was on the bench, obviously pile up on the floor over here. Uh, walking around is a bit interesting. Definitely uh, stepping on lots of stuff. Uh, we still gotta put up all our pegboards here yet. And we gotta finish up the uh, insulation up top there. One of the things they of course uh, market this for, by the way, is the light up top, and I'm now recording on the front facing camera right here instead of the rear camera, so probably not quite as good a video quality. But that's one of the things they say. Uh, that's one of the things I never quite got on the phone here. It's almost perfect with the exception of the screen is on the wrong side. You got the good cameras obviously on, on the back side, whereas the you got a decent enough camera on the front side, but not the greatest. So you know the screen's always on the wrong side when you're recording, so you can't quite tell, okay. Am I in frame? Is it good? Obviously, if I'm behind the camera, you know, if I'm, uh, let's see, now it's, uh, now I can see what I'm recording. But if I'm, uh, again, flipping the camera around here. But again, if I'm going to record this way, now obviously I cannot see whatever the camera's taking. I can just make an out estimated guess here. You know, I'm looking at the lens here, holding that out about arm's length. And that, that's nothing to do with the, the stand here, by the way. This is just the, uh, just talked about uh, recording on the phone here. Okay, and I just realized here one thing as well. I got the light on. You probably can't really tell much. It didn't seem like it was that bright until I realized, hopefully you can see it here, 
the uh, light was on its dimmest setting. Now I don't know how long this light lasts, but uh, that is definitely a lot brighter. Wow, talk about an improvement there. Of course, if you're recording on your phone here, one of the biggest things you have, it's a smaller camera. And at least on the iPhone here, it is a 4K camera, which not you know the greatest thing 4K on such a small camera like this, you know, compared to say, you know, the big lens on this camera here. But if you're going to do that, you want obviously a lot of light on the uh, subject. And so yeah, you can probably see the uh, reflection there. So yes, yeah, so that's quite a bit of light there, and that's uh, that's pretty good actually. I was thinking at first it seemed like a little, little dim, a little underwhelming. I uh, do have a couple of these lenses here. Changes the tint just a little bit. Uh, that's definitely a little bit bluer. Then there's an orange one. That definitely oranges things up. That's probably that's probably a little more representative of what you're actually seeing here. A little bit oranger with the wood and where's the uh, white one? There's a white one here. So that's uh again just kind of diffuses the light a little bit. Again, that's probably particularly useful if I'm. <laughs> That's quite bright. If I'm in front of the camera here, and obviously, you know, I don't want to be looking straight into the LEDs like that, that is rather annoying. And I guess one of the things I haven't talked about here so far is the uh, microphone on here as well. That should definitely improve your recording quality as well. So, anyway, back to the bench again. Old bench ended right where that stereo mount is. It now continues on to the window here. And we left this bit open here. We were planning on. Uh, Covering this as well, but then we ran out of two by fours. Uh, that's treated two by fours there because it's on the concrete. Uh, we ran out of two by fours, and you know what? Maybe we'll just leave this open, and we can roll carts and stuff under there. So we thought that might be a good idea. So ends there with the shelving underneath. Yeah, you know, it's light. We could probably just look right under here. Again, you can see it lights it up nice. You can see good. Again, that's one of the big things with uh, recording like this. You want some light. Uh, we still need, uh, speaking of lights, that's probably our next big project is putting lights up here yet. So all the shop lights, uh, we're probably going to do something different here because now we got another or new section of bench here. And then over there, basically another new section of bench as well. So, so anyway, if folks have any uh, comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them below. I'm going to switch over to the uh, camera on the phone here. And we're just going to push record. And here we go. Okay, everyone, like I said, we're going to wrap up the video. If you'd like to uh, check this out here, I'll put a link down in the description. And, of course, comments or questions, be sure to leave them below as well. And, uh, like I said, uh, expect to see some more updates of the barn product here as we continue. And hopefully they'll be improved a little bit here using this uh, light and new camera system. So, again, thanks for watching, and until next time.